So we are very blessed to have a truly sadhu personality. So Maharaj has been very well known in our congregation and also in ashram. Many devotees have been hearing Maharaj's classes many, many often. In fact, since Maharaj came last time, we were following with Maharaj. But Maharaj's health was not there, so he was not traveling much. But this time Maharaj agreed to just come just to Radha Gopina temple because of our invitation, so very happy. Let us thank her for this uh, special uh, love which he has showered to us by chanting one time, Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Maharaj is a very, very senior member of Iskwan Society. Vishwan <coughs> Guru, a sannyasi, has been following uh, Srila Prabhupada's teaching and preaching all over the world. Maharaj began his humble beginning in Odisha, in a small village. And uh, since uh, birth, he had natural inclination towards spirituality which brought him to the shelter of His Divine Grace, the uh, Gaurgovind Swami Maharaj. And Maharaj took initiation from Gaurgovind Maharaj in early 90s. And then uh, he was traveling in Sankirtan, first party, distributing Shri Prabhupada's books in the local language there. It's very difficult to preach in Odisha, Odisha, Odisha area and villages. Maharaj preached initially, initial years in that place, then he became the head pujari of Ishkwan Bhubaneshwar temple for many years and then on the order of his uh, spiritual masters, he decided to preach considering his Siddhantic understanding and his uh, gist of preaching. Maharaj began to preach, uh, initially preached in Buddhist villages and towns and districts and <coughs> then India and now Maharaj preaches <coughs> all over the world. Especially, I got a chance to meet two devotees from Suriname, South America. You are not knowing about Suriname place. Maharaj also visited that place and he had disciples in that place. So, very, very fortunate that Maharaj has come here. And not just one class, but he is going to spend the next three, four days. I hope you all will be here. Three, four days! He's going to be Maharaj's uh, association. And uh, let us uh, very heartily and very gratefully thank Maharaj with three times loudly chanting. Three, four days! Those who want to know more about information can contact Vila Shukravas. Hare Krishna. 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 जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा Kunja Bihari 
गोपी जन बल्ला गिरी बर धारे जय गोपी जन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन नंदन यशोदानंदन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन यमुना तेरा बन चारे यमुना तेरा बन ये राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare राधा माधव की जाए शिला प्रभुपात की जाए शिष्य राधा गोपीनाथ जी की जाए गौर सुंदर नित्यानंद प्रभु की जाए नेताए गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि ग्रंथरा श्रीमद् भागवतम की जाए ओम ज्ञान तिमिरांधस्यम ज्ञानंजन सलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितम येना तस्मे श्री गुरवे नमः Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Shayam Rupam Kadamaiham Dadanti Shopadantikam Bande Aham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Guru Nvaishnavanscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunata Nitvam Tvam Sajibam Sadvitam Sabadhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padanu Sahagana Lalita 
श्री विशाखानिवश नमो विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंत राधा कंत नमस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय बंछा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नम महाबदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौर से नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा सो बाय द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ श्रील प्रभुपाद एंड ऑल प्रीवियस आचार्यस ऑल्सो ब्लेसिंग्स फ्रॉम लॉर्ड शिव से श्री राधा गोपी नाजीव गौर नित्यानंद प्रभु जी सो विल हियर समथिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम सेकेंड कैंटो एट चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नाइन अज सृजति भूतानी भूतात्मा चदनुग्रहा ददृशन तदूप नाभिपद्मुद्भव अज सृजति भूतानी भूतात्मा चदनुग्रहा ददृश ददृशे जेन तदूप नाभिपद्मुद्भव वर्ड मीनिंग अज वन हु इज बर्न विदउट ए मेटेरियल सोर्स श्रीजति क्रिएट्स भूतानी ऑल दोज मेटेरियल बर्न भूतात्मा हविंग ए बॉडी ऑफ मैटर 
yat hoj anugrahat by the mercy of dadruse kutsi yena by whom tadrupam his form of body nabhi nabel padma lotus flower samudbhava being born of translation brahma who has not born of material source but of the lotus flower coming out of the navel abdomen of the lord is the create is the creator of all those who are materially born of course by the grace of lord brahma was able to see the form of lord purport by his divine grace as he bhakti vedanta swami sri la prabhupad sri la prabhupad ki jai the first living creature brahma is called ajah because he did not take his birth from the womb of a mother materially born he was directly directly born from the bodily expansion of the lotus flower of the lord thus it is not readily understandable whether the body of the lord and that of brahma are the same quality or different this must also be clear clearly understood one thing is however certain brahma was completely depend on the mercy of lord because after his birth he could not he could create living beings by the lord's grace only and he could see the form of lord whether the form seen by the brahma is the same quality as that of brahma is building brahma is a building questions and maharaj parikit wanted to get clear answer from this sukadev from sri la sukadev goswami ajah srujati bhutani bhutatma jadanu graha tadrusa jena tadrupam nabhi padma samud bavah brahma was who was not born of material source but out of out of the lotus flower coming out of the navel abdomen of the lord is the creator of all those who are not materially born of course by the grace of lord brahma was able to see the form of lord hari krishna <coughs> so we are studying or hearing shrimad bhagavatam so according to shriman chaitanya mahaprabhu in college ko all the 64 leaves are there in our devotional life so one have to cultivate the 64 limbs but we don't have time or you know even we don't have inclinations we don't have a particular attachment materially our life is very we can say miserable now what to speak about spiritually material condition is not good even you cannot enjoy material now so in, in such condition acharyas are so merciful because here the topic of mercy is coming so out of 64 limbs actually five limbs is very important our acharyas emphasis on this five limbs according to time place and circumstances so man can follow these five limbs among the five limbs one is bhagavat shravan naam sankirtan like in iskon within our temple we are following all these five principles five limbs first one bhagavat shravan every day we are hearing shrimad bhagavatam and chaitanya mahaprabhu special contributioners special benediction mahaprabhu gives this benediction to gaudiya vaishnavas that shrimad bhagavatam is non different from krishna others are preaching shrimad bhagavatam we cannot blame them we cannot condemn them but they are, they don't have such vision is bhagavatam is non different from krishna this is our we should not speculate we should not create doubt we cannot manipulate bhagavatam is non different from krishna this is mahaprabhu's special contribution krishna sudham upagate dharma jnana devi sah kalo nashtam drusham esah purana ar kodana dita this is bhagavatam purana is just like son whenever some question is there whenever some doubt is there 
Whenever we are facing spiritual problems, just we have to study Srimad Bhagavatam. We have to pray to Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is none different from Krishna. So, Bhagavatam Sravan is very important. Nam Sankirtan. Always you see we are performing Nam Sankirtan. Bhagavatam Sravan, five limbs. We are following five limbs. Bhagavatam Sravan, second one, Nam Sankirtan, third one. Uh, Srimurti Seva, seven. We are worshipping deities also. Bhagavatam Sravan, Nam Sankirtan. And fourth one, Mathura Vas. Someone, someone have to stay in a holy place like Mathura or Vrindavan. We are staying in Mathura and Vrindavan. You understand? Yeah. When we are taking shelter at the lotus feet of a pure devotee and his place, his deity, that is Vrindavan. Vrindavan consciousness. Our, our consciousness should be like that, Vrindavan consciousness, that is Krishna consciousness. If, if you are staying in Vrindavan, but your consciousness is material consciousness, that is not Vrindavan bas. The most Vrindavan bas in mind. If your mind is always thinking about a pure devotee, his deity, his service, his mood and mission, and how to dedicate this life for his service, that is real Vrindavan Bas. Our Gaudiya Acharyas, they have commentaries. Always, even in, in, in Gita commentaries, Bhagavatam commentaries, even in some statements, there is some secret commentaries are there. So that in the devotees, those are coming in Krishna consciousness, they will not face some problems. If some some Someone is not qualified to develop such pure consciousness. Even he will stand in Vrindavan, he will face him the problem. So, when we are taking shelter at lotus feet of a pure devotee, his deity, his place, his mission, his instruction, that is Vrindavan. So, five limbs. First one, Bhagavad Sravan, Nam Sankirtan, Srimurti Rashwadhyaya Sevan, Mathuravas, and Sadhusan. Sadhu Sangha, that is also important. What is the meaning of Sadhu Sangha? What you are thinking? Sadhu Sangha? Sangha? This two word is there. Sadhu, Sangha. Sangha means? Sangha means asakti. Association does not mean you are going in train, you are going in flight. You are associating with many people that you cannot say association. You know, when when we are going in flight, when we are going in train, when we are traveling in metro, thousand people are coming. Every station you can see many people are coming, going. That is not association. Association means abiding. Our spirit, our Guru Dev used to say, association means abiding the mood, carrying the mood, cultivating the mood. That is association. If you are coming to Sadhu Sangha, we are coming here to associate with Vaishnavas, devotees. But we are not abiding, cultivating, following the mood of Acharyas. That is not Sadhu Sangha. Although it looks like we are sitting here, looks like we are performing Kirtan, looks like we are coming to temple, but we are separated, our mind is separated from here. That is not Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha means when you cultivate, you abide the mood of Guru, Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnava and Acharyas, you will develop natural attachment. Your attachment towards Acharyas, your attachment towards Acharya teachings, your attachment towards Sadhu's lifestyle, that is called Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu's teaching. Sadhu Sangha does not mean you are coming and you, know, you are cultivating some knowledge. No? Without Sadhu Sangha also you can cultivate knowledge. Books are there. Now internet is there. That is not Sadhu Sangha. Through internet you cannot do Sadhu Sangha. Parikit Maharaj personally came. Was sitting there. Okay, through internet you are doing some. That is for your, you know, cultivating knowledge or reminding something. But Sadhu Sangha means you have to approach a personified Sadhu. Parikit Maharaj came. This is called Sadhu Sangha. So among these five limbs, still Acharya is very merciful. They know. In college you go also these five limbs, you know, like in Mumbai. If someone have to come to this Chaupati Gopinath temple, 
in one hour, two hour, eh? even sometimes in traffic, three hour. Acharyas, they said, okay. They are so merciful, they said, in one limb you can find the result of the, all of these five limbs. Just follow one limb. Out of 64, you have to follow five. Out of five, you have to follow one. <laughs> if you follow one, you can get the result of 64. That is Sadhu Sangha. Because whenever you are approaching a Sadhu, when you are coming to Sadhu, then Sadhu will speak Srimad Bhagavatam. In Sadhu's place, Nam Sangirtan is there. In Sadhu's place, Deity is there. In Sadhu, where is Sadhu? Where is Deity? Where is worshipping going on? The Brindavan mood is there. Everything is there, here. So therefore, we are hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, not just for knowledge, mere knowledge. Knowledge is available everywhere. So many speakers are there. So many knowledgeous persons are there. They, they may present in a different way, very palatable way, very flowery words. But our mood is not like that. We are hearing Bhagavatam, we are coming to temple, we are chanting how to develop our attachment towards Krishna, Guru and Gauranga. Every day we have to judge ourselves, how to develop our attachment. Because we are suffering in this material world due to our material attachment. And how to give up material attachment? Huh? How to give up material attachment? Everyone is suffering due to material attachment. Everyone. Everyone have body. Everyone have to deal with material, material objects. So how to give up? Material attachment. Huh? When you develop your attachment towards Krishna, Param Drushtvani Vartante, Raso Pira Sapabhaji, Param Drushtvani. When you get higher test, then automatically you will give up lower test. Artificial, you cannot do it. Bhakti, this Bhakti path, the devotional life means this is natural path. And we come, we came to here, we came to bhakti path to become a natural Vaishnav. Not to become an artificial Vaishnav. We came here to become a natural Vaishnav. Our Guru Dev used to say, be a natural Vaishnav. Natural Vaishnav means naturally you want to do everything for Krishna. Not officially. Who is doing job in office? How many, how many devotees are working in office? Who is naturally, naturally loving his institution? <laughs> <laughs> no one. No one is loving his Oh, I like this company. No. No natural attachment is there. We are soul. Our propensity is natural. Therefore, we, are, we want to establish our relationship naturally with everyone. But it is not possible. So only if you keep... Re- Relationship, if you establish our relationship with Krishna, then it is possible. We are coming to Krishna consciousness for that purpose. We want to become a natural devotee. We want to keep relationship with Guru and Krishna naturally, not artificially. Why we are suffering in this material world? Due to this artificial nature, artificially we are dealing with our life. Everything is artificial. Staying in the city is artificial. Working all these jobs, this is not Krishna's job. Krishna never adopted all these systems. Farming, you know, exchange, before business means exchange, not the city life. We are leading our life unnaturally. We cannot stop it now. Therefore, we are suffering. Nothing is natural. Food is not natural. Even if when a child is born, born he is not also natural. Artificial, you have to go to hospital. When you will die? Artificial. You have to die in hospital, you have to take bath in hospital, and with medicine you have to live your life. Everything is artificial. But we came to Krishna consciousness for natural. To develop a natural love towards Vaishnavas. You know, um, even you are a married person, you have wife, you have children, you have son, you have daughter. But still you, can, you can't feel the natural feelings. Whenever you see the Vaishnavas, whenever you see your Guru, whenever you see some higher personalities, immediately a natural attachment comes. Why?
they have love for krishna they are nature like prabhupad one once devotees prabhupad disciples they ask to prabhupad prabhupad why you are so attractive we so so many sadhu we have father mother we are we are born in america we have so many things but whenever we meet you whenever we saw you you are very attractive prabhupad said yeah, that is nature of sadhu <laughs> prabhupad never say anything that is nature of sadhu actually the, that is fact according to tattva that is fact not by sadhu wearing a nice dress you know he speaks some palatable words he is become attractive you know krishna is within his heart he have love for krishna if you have love for krishna and krishna is in with your within your heart then who is attractive krishna is attractive so sadhu within sadhu sat krishna is there therefore krishna is attracting all the souls we we can attract someone through our intelligence you know if you are intelligent man like the dancers singers the speakers they are attracting through artificial things through their mind through their knowledge through their through their qualities but a pure devotee is attract souls by pure love krishna is there and we are suffering here actually only we don't have pure love we don't have pure attraction we don't have a pure life everyone is suffering here so that we are studying shrimad bhagavatam here here is very important point <coughs> parikit maharaj is asking this question to sukhdev goswami when he came came to know about brahma brahma is brahma is born out of navel my english is not good i am not educated <laughs> but i am speaking devotees are inviting even my english my hindi is not correct so please forgive me so brahma brahma's one name is aja you understand so you see we are all of us we born everyone born here in this metal world out of sex life our li- li- why our life is miserable why our life is miserable everyone born out of sex father mother just few days before we were discussing something in area father mother they want to enjoy but a conditioned soul a, 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 but a soul coming to home and is suffering stuck this is material world father and mother oh, we want child we want child but you are inviting a soul and soul will not suffer in mother's womb and when you come out from mother's womb again suffering stuck this is material world every sex life sex life sex life and vrupad used to say unless you stop this sex life you can't return to galak vrindavan eating sleeping mating and depending when it become zero then you are eligible to go to galak vrindavan but this body prupad's english i am not educated boy but when i am used to study i like so much prupad said this bodily demand what is demanding eating sleeping mating depending always demanding so there for bodily demand is there we don't have a pure knowledge that is difficult to cultivate pure knowledge pure devotion always suffering life but brahma he was blessed by krishna brahma's father mother is krishna teen brahma hrudaj aadi kavayo muihanti yat surayo so direct disciple direct son Yeah. But Parikit Maharaj is thinking whether there is some difference between Brahma and Krishna. Is there some difference? Even some Vishnu is there. We used to say Krishna. <laughs> Because Vishnu is the expansion of Krishna. So therefore we are using this word Krishna. So is there any difference between Brahma and Lord Krishna? That you want to know. Therefore he is asking this question. Aja Srujati Bhutani Bhutatma Jad Anugrahat तदृश येन तदूपम नाभि पद्म समुद्भव सो इज देयर इज देयर एनी डिफरेंसेस क्वालिटिवली और समथिंग इज देयर ही वांट टू नो दिस थिंग्स बट ब्रह्मा इज वेरी इलेवेटेड यू नो बट ब्रह्मा आल्सो समटाइम कमिटेड मिस्टेक्स हैं 
What mistake Brahma had done? Huh? Huh? Running after his daughter. You can find someone in this material world who is running after his daughter. No, you can't find. Even most abnormal funnel persons, they are they're funnel persons, fallen persons, abnormal persons. Maybe one percent you cannot find. Now how Brahma can do all these things? <laughs> you know, through Brahma, Krishna wants to taught us. You see how dangerous this attraction, material attraction. Actually, Brahma was at that time meditating. Mind, this mind is the source of all material, you know, how can you say? This material objects, material sense gratification, mind is creating all these things. So if Brahma is coming out of, is born out of, how can you say, from this novel, how it is possible lust came to his body? The lust came out of lust. Why, why this sex power is with our body? Because we burn out of sex power. Therefore, this sex life is there. But Brahma is not like that. But you can see here, he's, he's running behind daughter. No, Krishna wants to show this example. How this material attraction is very strong. Matra, Sparsha, Dhuhitrava, Navivakta, Sanavasit, Balavan, Indra, Gama, Vidvang, Sapikarsati. Ninth canto, Jajati. Jajati Maro. This is Jajati Maro's statement. Sitting with in in a, in a same how can I say in a same throne sitting with his wife, he is speaking this verse after one thousand year. Even your mother is there, even your daughter is there. An example is Brahma. And wife is sitting. Wife is what to speak about wife? <laughs> Jadati Maharaj want to impress these things. Upon the journey. Shastra forbidden, even your mother is there. Matra, Swarsa, Dhuhitra, your brother, eh, sorry, sister, daughter. Matra, Swarsa, Dhuhitra. Navivikta asana was said. Don't sit closely. Why? Balavan Indra Grama Vidvang Sati Karsati. The senses are very strong. And this, this verse is not only for, you know, common persons. Vidwangs, vidwangs whenever Bhagavan's uh, Lord Krishna always gives some statement about sense, always said about Gyanis. Vipaschita, this verse, Bhagavad Gita. Vipaschita. Indriyani pramathi niharanti prasamamana. Vipaschita. This word is there. Vipaschita, this word in Bhagavad Gita. There you can find. Even the knowledge person, Krishna always said. Here also, Jayati said, I am a very knowledge person. I had all this experience. How to worship Krishna? The most experienced devotee, Jayati and Purvava, they are devotee before. But the sense gratification is so strong, the sense enjoyment is so strong, drag. Drag their consciousness. They drown in material. Oh, now they are giving this realization in Srimad Bhagavatam. Even your mother, your sister, your one daughter, don't sit closely. Balavan Indra Rama Vidvang Sapi The senses are so strong, it attracts everyone. Then how it is possible for Brahma? So there are many varieties of Brahma also there. Brahma is not one type of Brahma. <laughs> This is Ill because sometimes devotees they have confusion. How it is possible Brahma can do all these things? Like some devotee said, Brahma also commits some mistake by you know, here said covered by his stolen calves. No. Same Brahma invited Krishna, please come. Huh? Indra also invited, come. So how Indra just create all these problems? How Brahma can create all these problems? It is possible for them? No, but this is Leela. This is this is called Leela. It's past times. This is past times of Krishna. So there are 
are many varieties of brahmas also there so in 11 11 64 16 no 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 this this not this is this 11 11th canto third chapter 12th verse in that commentary you can find this is vishwana chakravarti thakur's commentary 11 11th canto this is uh, third chapter 12th verse there are three type of brahmas so whenever you you see some mistakes it looks like the mistakes that may be this brahma may be karmi brahma there are three type of brahmas karmi brahmas gyani brahmas and bhakta brahmas <laughs> yeah this is vishwana chakravarti's commentaries yeah brahmana api karmi gyani bhaktatve na trividhyat he mentioned in his commentary even the brahmas there are three type of brahmas who are they karmi gyani bhaktatve na trividyat kasya chit punarabruti hi kasya chit mukti hi so karmi brahma used to again you have to come here a brahma a brahma bhavana loka this verse is applicable here if you go to brahma lok sometimes he therefore he said kasya chit punarabruti this karmi brahma have to fall down again after his pious you know yeah pious activity is finished you have to fall again kasya chit mukti those are very knowledgeable person performing 100 ah 100 lifetime varnasram system perfectly then you become brahma who wants to become brahma you don't want you are brahma in your house <laughs> everyone wants to control everyone in your office you are brahma why not you want already even you don't want to become brahma everyone is brahma here <laughs> everyone have mentality is like brahma i am creating everything i am i want to control everything this mentality is there because we are in conditions condition states yeah this is conditional nature controlling nature we don't want to be controlled by anyone we want to control everyone yeah grani brahmas those are religious persons for performing pious activities are following varnasram system for 100 lifetimes perfectly then they became brahma we don't want to become brahma <laughs> we don't want to become shiva we don't we want to become devotee and we want not to become devotee direct devotee direct devotee is in dangerous brahma is direct devotee therefore you want to test krishna shiva ji is direct devotee therefore sometimes he fighting you see in banasur he fight with banasur he take the side of banasur and fighting with krishna we don't want to become direct devotee you understand yeah we don't want we don't want to direct deal with krishna krishna is very dangerous <laughs> yeah this is very sweet but sometimes very dangerous you cannot find sweet is dangerous but krishna is like that therefore his form is it three plus cooked three plus cooked yeah very sweet but is is his form is like that if you are simple then is good if you are cooked then you make you make your life miserable very dangerous <laughs> very dangerous you will play with your life he will play with your life in such a way you will finish he will finish but if you surrender to krishna also he will play with your life any how he will play with your life <laughs> be ready in which way you want to go yeah like gopis radharanis they invite krishna yeah i was today today i was reading one statement proper statement we are worshiping krishna means we are inviting krishna please interfere in your, in my life play with my life that is it looks like very dangerous <laughs> but actually this is our life krishna consciousness life brahma ji shiva ji all the elevated vaishnavas 
they are always praying for that things please always interfere in my life always control my intelligence always control my mind i can handle this life i can handle myself i am like a small child yeah and that is that is actually it. when we invite krishna to our life when we invite guru and krishna please interfere in my business interfere in my life that is mood of surrender then we are eligible to receive mercy like here this word is there jadanugraha okay this verse is there prabhupad mention here brahma is completely dependent on the mercy of lord completely dependent and after his birth he could create living beings by the lord's grace only this grace complete dependent when we become complete dependent then we can realize complete mercy complete protection we are devotee but how much percentage we are surrendered to krishna huh how much percentage zero according to your percentage of surrender you can feel protected you can find how how much krishna is protecting you how much krishna is reciprocating you how much krishna how much krishna is giving realization to you is depend on your surrender and what is surrender you you have to voluntarily allow krishna krishna please interfere with my business with my intelligent with my life everything that is a mood of surrender so this mercy so we are discussing about brahma how many brahmas three, three. karmi brahmas have to come again after his past activities finished he will fall again gyani brahma gyani brahma kasya chit mukti he get liberation he is a knowledge person he is cultivating varna sam system for 100 lifetimes then he became brahma and when any annihilation takes place he get liberation and कस्यचित प्रेम बत्या पार्षद प्राप्तिशेति द्रष्टव्यम भक्त इफ इज ए डिवोटी इफ यू विकेम ब्रह्म प्रेम बत्या पार्षद देन हि विकेम असोसिएट्स ऑफ कृष्ण सो देन थ्री टाइप ऑफ ब्रह्म वेन एवर यू फाइंड सम यू नो डिफरेन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू शास्त्री इंजंक्शन देन यू हेव टू कन्सिडर हि मे बी कर्मी ब्रह्म or maybe gyani brahma or some lila may be there some past times behind there otherwise we will commit offense so here proper mention here uh, out of kajles uh, uh, very important point <coughs> this must also clearly understood one one thing is however subtle brahma was completely depend on the mercy of lord this one is very powerful completely depend we are not even we are devotees we are not completely depend. very difficult for a conditioned soul very difficult for us depend completely exclusively on guru and krishna's will yeah, completely completely you understand completely what is that completely complete 100% means mind manasah deha even you know the mind you cannot think separately something except guru krishna's idea what guru want what krishna want that means at that time you can't feel that you have a separate existences continuously have to pray to krishna and krishna will reveal to you arrangement will come complete dependent and when we complete dependent on krishna then we realize mercy yeah and that mercy will solve all our problems mercy why we are facing challenges we are facing challenges in material life then we came to spiritual life now in spiritual life we are thinking this is here is more challenges than material life <laughs> yeah everyone already after 5 year new devotees they are dancing chanting no problem they are taking prasadam feast prasadam huh? yes very happy but after a 10 year then they oh, all here here it is more challenge in life spiritual life is more challenge than 
you are saying these things, huh? <laughs> oh, you are repeating my word. <laughs> Don't say these things. Yeah, most of us already experienced this. Most of us experienced, oh, this is actually challenging. What? That not actually, because we are not surrendered, therefore it is challenging. Even in materially, when you surrender to your officer, no problem. When you surrender to your wife, no problem. When you surrender to a villager, no problem. Anyhow, you have to surrender. Why you are materially facing some problems? Even you surrender to police. After accident, you go and surrender to police. Just like this accident happened. Then a relief. You can get some little... You will have to understand, you can put, put some court case. It's not so... It's not so heavy. Even materially, if you surrender, you will face challenges. And actually, our nature is that in materially, we are not ready to surrender to anyone. We want like Brahma, we want like Shiva. Why have we surrendered to someone? We face this problem and we come to Krishna consciousness. But we forget one thing this is the path of surrender souls. Krishna consciousness means. This path of surrender souls. This is not path of renunciators. This is not path of jnanis, religious persons. This is not path of karmis. This is path of surrender. Anyone is coming to, to Krishna consciousness, he have to prepare himself voluntarily how to surrender at the lotus feet of Guru and Krishna. We are not coming here to cultivate knowledge. We are not coming here to cultivate renunciation. We are coming here just for one thing. How to develop our surrenderness. But this surrenderness will solve all our problems. And who will train us? Huh? Yeah, someone, someone was saying this thing. Gurus. This is fast business. This is fast business. Guru may impact knowledge. This is best knowledge. What knowledge you want? Even you are a religious person, but you are not surrendered to a pure devotee. What is the value of your knowledge? You are a big preacher. You are creating creating thousand thousand of devotees, but you are not surrendered to Guru and Krishna. That is its value. That is Guru's business. Guru will create such an environment. Guru will train you in such a way. Guru will mold your life in such a way. You have to come to this path. Of surrenderness. And yeah, that is the blessings of Sri Guru. That is the blessings of Sri Guru. We are coming to Krishna consciousness. First we have to surrender. Ado Guru. Huh? Guru Padasraya. Attending shelter. Spiritual master. Acharyas. Surrender. Who takes surrender? Who usually took surrender? Why someone becomes surrender? Why someone that someone need someone feel that I, I have to surrender? Why? When he's helpless, when he said I don't have anything, better I have to surrender. And another one is there. When someone will force you, you have to surrender. Then you have to surrender. Like like when we, you are coming, you are when you are coming in flight, you know, when security checking. Security is saying, raise your hand. Yes. <laughs> you are not forcefully ready to surrender, but he is saying, no, you have to surrender. Turn to back, yes. <laughs> right, left, right, left, whatever he wants. Then he forcefully, he's forcefully saying, you have to surrender. Now two choices. In surrender path, there is two choices. First one, voluntarily surrender. Second one, forcefully. Okay. Then which path he wants to choose? Huh? Not easy. Forget. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> Voluntarily surrender. Forget. Voluntary. No one. No one is ready. Voluntarily surrender. If he is simple, he is a simple boy. Huh? Simple, not sinful. We are sinful. <laughs> Not simple. This two term, 
very very you know problem we are sinful and we want to try to become simple therefore very difficult <laughs> very difficult yeah if someone is simple natural is simple simplicity is vaishnavism therefore bhakti siddhant shosho thakur prabhupad used to say all acharyas all of them simplicity is vaishnavism and what is simplicity our gurudev used to say if someone have unflinching faith at the lotus feet of guru and sadhu guru and shastra that is simplicity then he will become naturally surrender if you have faith on guru if you have faith on acharyas if you have faith on shastra then you will never care anyone and surrender that is voluntary voluntary means if you are convinced on this statement how your mind will allow you to voluntarily surrender you have knowledge you have money you have wife you have everything surrender is not easy easy process therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu's blessing why mahaprabhu can same krishna and he, he just looks like he demanded in bhagavad gita he demand bhagavad sarva dharman mam ekam sarana mandaj exclusively you should surrender unto me but surrender is not easy process he said just surrender to me then i will take care of you then after after reading to golagrunda then he start to think okay i should surrender give up huh? give up all sort of religion yeah this is this is very difficult give up all sort of religion even mano dharma mind also mind have also is one propensity you have to give up these things you have to give up all sort of religion and surrender to but we are ready to give up everything devotees they give up ready to they already give up everything but surrender at lotus feet of krishna is a challenge for us now we give up onion we give up garlic we give up father mother what to speak about all of you we are brahmacharis our brahmacharis you ask to our brahmacharis they give up everything their job better position father mother but when you come to krishna this creating problem mind mind creates problem therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu ke he said no krishna said no i have to go to ek i have to come again i have to go again to this material world to teach the people how to become surrender same krishna and krishna between krishna and goranga mahaprabhu only this difference krishna is always maintaining his supremacy i am supreme when goranga same krishna assuming the mood of radharani he can and he want to teach us how to surrender how to give up our supremacy you know krishna supremacy this is krishna's monopoly business he is supreme it is monopoly business but we are also we have also monopoly business i am supreme yeah therefore difficult job to surrender at lotus feet of krishna and goranga mahaprabhu came for that purpose same krishna came as goranga mahaprabhu he want to cut up all our ideas all these monopolies no, surrender it was very difficult job very difficult job if someone is convinced in the varampara system if someone is surrender at lotus feet of a pure devotee shastras then he become naturally simple then he can surrender then mind cannot cheat him otherwise mind is always cheating us intelligent is always cheating us intelligent is guiding you understand shastra is guiding shastra is guiding guru is guiding but mind is not ready to accept this thing mind is cheating us because we are not surrender so how many processes surrender two process one is voluntary voluntary means if someone is simple hearted simple hearted means what is simple hearted you have unflinching faith unflinching faith at lotus feet of guru and goranga and shastra naturally he will surrender whenever he faces some problem even he will not face any problems in all of his activities he molded his nature his molded his intelligence he molded his mind in such a way every time surrender krishna what do you want from me 
That is the best way, natural way. Surrender. Always praying Guru and Goranga. That is the best way. And another one? Forcefully. Forcefully categories. Who are in forcefully categories? Huh? You are? Oh, no. <laughs> forcefully categories also. You know. Why Krishna will interfere forcefully in your business? You are a soul. Krishna will never interfere with someone's business. He is always neutral. Why Krishna will interfere in your business? Forcefully. Krishna will make or Krishna will arrange such a situation, create such an environment, forcefully you have to surrender to Krishna. There is no other way. <laughs> Krishna will, uh, Maya will kick you from every direction. Back side, front side, you know. Heavy kicks. <laughs> heavy kick. Heavy kick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even you'll, you'll lose all test. You'll lose all material test. But still, this is our conditional nature. After Maya kicking from all directions, still we want to look back. <laughs> yeah. We are, because therefore we are conditioned so. Always. Happy lasses. Everyone, happy lasses. Maya. Maya is doing a thankless job. Prabhupada said, Maya is doing a thankless job, kicking happily, but still we are not losing test. Yeah. Still we are looking, you know, <laughs> towards back <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Again, Maya is kicking. Yeah, this is Maya's job. But still we are not ready. In spiritual, we are facing so many problems. Material, we are facing so many problems. But voluntarily, we are not ready to surrender at lotus feet of Guru and Krishna. We are not praying to Krishna. Please give me shelter. Ayi nanda tanuja kingaram patitama visami bhavam budo kripaya tava Last word? See, vichintaya. Just think me. Krishna, please. You are within my heart. I don't have power to think your lotus feet. But you are within my heart. At least you... Remember about me. Then my life will be saved. This is mood of surrender. Always we have to pray to Guru and Goranga. Please, shower your merciful glance on me so that I can save myself. Otherwise, I am drowning, drowning, drowning every moment. You can find, you can find sometimes where we are not drowning in material ocean, material consciousness every moment. Maya is so strong. Every moment, you, even you are in temple, Maya is dragging you. Your mind is dragging. Come here. What you are doing there? This is nonsense business. Yeah. Only wasting of time. This is cheating. Maya is always treating this tricky. Yes. Bikhepat Mika. Always dragging. So forcefully surrender at lotus feet of Krishna is not also. Krishna, only in one condition. Krishna will create such a situation for you if actually you are simple. But you are developing a desire. Krishna, Guru, I want to serve you. Gurudev, I want to serve you. I want to serve Acharyas, Krishna. But you have attachment. But you are a simple person. <laughs> you know, many simple devotees are there, but they have strong attachment to their wife, their son. Their money, their vision, but they're simple in nature. You know? You have simplicity, but you have attachment. Because you have simplicity, at that point, Krishna will interfere in your, how can I say, business in your life. Krishna will create such a havoc situation. <laughs> havoc situation in your life. There is no other way than surrender to Krishna. Forcefully, he will interfere. Forcefully, even if you don't want, Krishna will cut off all these things. Yes. This is in 11th canto. This is in 11th canto. So we are discussing on that point. Brahma, this is Brahma, as Prabhupada Maharaj said these things. I like this point. One thing, however, certain, Brahma was completely dependent on the mercy of Lord. 
this complete dependency simplicity and dependency they are like two parallel how can i say this two parallel line of our spiritual life two parallel line you know like dividers sometimes when when there is a divider in national highway you see you, you are leading in this way means you are also right side divider right side road you are all crossing same way either you are going in left side or right side when we are crossing suppose 10 kilometers in left right also you are you already crossed 10 kilometers the simplicity and dependency they are very you know like two lines in our spiritual life more you become simple more you become dependent on krishna that is that is actually we can say a set of our spiritual life sometimes when we are we are karmi that time we are more simple so devotees used to express their feelings when i am karmi i actually i am very simple i am always giving respect to devotees i like all the devotees i like temples but when we come a devotee become more complicated <laughs> huh when we become devotee sometimes we become more complicated we lose our simplicity by association yeah association make yeah by association you become simple by association you become complicated but we are coming to krishna consciousness to become very simple make your life very simple and what is the simple simplicity just surrender fast surrender at lotus feet of guru this is matured decision of krishna consciousness this is maturity of your spiritual life this is maturity of your spiritual life if you surrender at lotus feet of a pure devotee this is your maturity this is your completeness This is your strength of your spiritual life. If you surrender at lotus feet of Guru, then by His blessings, you can surrender at lotus feet of Krishna. It is not easy for a conditioned soul to become surrender at lotus feet of Krishna. Only by mercy of Sri Guru. when you surrender at lotus feet of guru a pure devotee by his mercy he will train you he will engage you in such service by his blessings you will surrender at guru. otherwise this individual mentality will be always prominent always prominent unless we surrender at lotus feet of a pure devotee in spiritual life the biggest problem the biggest challenge is independence always you feel i am qualified yeah we missing link i used to say many missing links missing link yeah you know when you are using internet and sometimes you saying missing link what is the missing link in your spiritual life many missing links are there when internet is become very low huh? yeah missing link he said oh, this error missing link in error in our spiritual life we are always missing the link that is missing link of our spiritual life what is that maintaining independent independence always maintaining forgetting this is also link, missing link maintaining individuality independent and forgetting sri guru lotus feet by his blessings all qualification is coming by his merciful glance still we are chanting how many years you are in krishna consciousness how many year 10 year by your own strength 10 year 10 year within every day 10 minutes we are not in krishna consciousness but still we are chanting six round you you just realize your conditions but how we are in krishna consciousness in mumbai not in village this is mumbai <laughs> maya nagari <laughs> maya special blessings is there go 
<laughs> Gopinath's blessing is there. Ma, where Maya will stay? Maya can stay in front of Krishna and back. Here is Krishna. Therefore, Maya will be there. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. How 10 years, are, like 20 years, 12 years, 15 years, it is not easy, easy task. We know our consciousness. Where is our consciousness? What is our position? How much attraction we have towards material objects, towards our wife, our children, our business, money. But still we are chanting Krishna now. Still sometimes we are praying to Krishna seriously. Krishna, I want to overcome all these impediments. Please help me. By our own strength? We are forgetting. Yes. yes. No. You are saying first they are not here. First by blessings of Prabhupada. First Guru, then Goranga. First Guru, don't, this is a missing link. <laughs> yeah, first, not Krishna. No. First Guru, first a pure devotee. When you forget, oh, by your blessings, now I am in Krishna consciousness. When we forget this moment, we are inviting the most dangerous situation to our spiritual life. You are not advancing in Krishna consciousness. That is not that is not a big challenge. By one one moment when Sadhu Guru saw a merciful glance on you, you may advance. But this is the biggest challenge in our spiritual life. At every moment, we are forgetting the contribution of Sri Guru, of a pure devotees. His contribution, spiritual contributions, everything, what he contributed to our life, is we are forgetting. We don't have, how can I say, gratitude mentality. We don't have gratitude mentality. That is most dangerous, precarious, huh? how can I say in English? I am just, I am not an educated boy. Please excuse me. Precarious, huh? huh? Precarious condition. Yeah, Prabhupada used to. Precarious conditions. Every moment we are forgetting these things in our life. Spiritual life means this is blessings of Sri Guru. You know, when, when a fish is living within the water, you understand? Why is living? Why is swimming? Why is his shelter is water? Water is there, therefore he is living. What is there? So in spiritual life, we are forgetting a pure devotee's contribution, his blessings that is missing link. By this way, we are inviting dangers to our spiritual life. Yeah. So surrender, complete surrender. So if you, 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 you can be simple, by associating with simple devotees, then naturally, we surrender to Guru and Krishna. Problem will come anyhow. In the spiritual, some problems will come. Unless problem will come, we cannot give up our conditioned nature. You know, when problem will come, problem is just like fire. It will melt our false ego. False ego is just like an iron piece. How can you melt iron piece? With fire is required. Then when you melt, then you can make shape. Yeah, we have false ego. So when all these problems is coming, this is like fire, sansara, dava, nerdila, look, missing link <laughs> again. <laughs> forgetting when problem is when problem is coming, we are forgetting. Then trana, bas finish. We are forgetting this one. When sansara dava now, but we are forgetting. Morning time we are praying. Every four four thirty we are praying. Sansara dava nalanida lokam trana ya karu. But when problem is coming, forgetting. Bande Guru Sri. We are, we are always forgetting this point. Bande Guru Sri Charanarvinda forgetting. But we know many Bhagavatam words. <laughs> we know Bhakti Sastri, Bhakti Vaivhav, all the course certificates is with us. But Bande Guru Sri Charanarvinda, this missing link always. So these problems, material problems, they are like fire. And our false ego is like iron. 
the material problems will melt our falsehood. And that time, there is chance to make it safe. Guru will give you safe. Make you simple. Make you humble. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is 11 already. Huh? Okay, they are. Okay. So, yeah. So, complete surrender. This is a big topic. Complete surrender. And Mahaprabhu came. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jive Dayakadi. Then, Sap Suparsada Siyodhama Sahavatari. With all his, with his award, with all his organs, associates, he came here. Why he came? The next word. Then, Suparsada Siyodhama Sahavatari. Atyanta Dullava Prema Karivaradhan. Sikhai Saranangati. Sir, Mahaprabhu came for special for the surrender. Yes. We, why we are always addicted? Addicted, we cannot say, my English is not good. Yeah, we are attached to Guru's service. This is addiction. You have to become an addicted person. Now, now everyone is addicted to this mobile. They are addicted persons. Someone is addicted to smoking, drinking. You understand? The addiction propensity is with us. Everyone has this addiction propensity. Addicted persons, we are addicted persons. Now we have to use this propensity first in Sri Guru service. You become an addicted person. You see, Prabhupada, when you remember about Guru, 70 years. No, I have to go to West. I have to go to America. Addicted in Guru service. Madness. That is called spiritual madness. <laughs> Material madness. We already suffered. Now we have to test spiritual madness, spiritual addiction. That is our life. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't become an active member in your guru service, not addicted with guru service, you can't release spiritual life. Can't release. You will officially you feel like I am a religious person. Understand? Officially, you will feel like I am a religious person, but no addiction, no test in spiritual life. Yeah. Complete surrender. So, Mahaprabhu came for that purpose. Therefore, always we are, you know, when we are saying Hare Krishna, we are always. What is that? When you, when you sign up surrender, when you are arranging your hand, you cannot keep anything in. You see, you cannot, you cannot keep anything in your hand. We are saying to Krishna, nothing is in my hand. <laughs> yeah, that is a sign. Nothing is in my hand. In, in front of security, you can keep like that? No. You have to open your hand. In front of Krishna, Krishna, nothing is, belongs to me. I am yours. I am yours. Please accept me. Yes, this abiding this mood of surrenderness. Because unless we complete surrender, we cannot realize these things. The realization will not come. We have realization. That the realization in mood of goodness. Realization in mood of passion. Realization in mood of ignorance. At best, we can get realization in mood of goodness. Someday devotees said, I have this realization. What realization we have? Only we have a nice realization about Maya. <laughs> we can explain what is Maya <laughs> nicely. That relation with us. Because why? Why my relation with us? Because material flow, the mood of nature is working. Therefore, this relation is perfect relation. All of us, all of us, we have perfect relation about Maya. How Maya is kicking us, how Maya is treating us. <laughs> we have perfect relation about Maya. But about perfect relation about Krishna, we don't have. No. Without surrender, the relation will not come. That, that relation may be mood of goodness. When we are surrender, according to our percent of surrender, the relation will come. How much you surrender to your spiritual master? To a pure devotee, that much the relation will come. How is dear to Krishna? How he is dear to Krishna? That is realization. Not that how Guru is speaking, how uh, this Bhagavatam class, what he said. Okay, that is good. But what is realization? According to your surrender, when you surrender, according to the percentage of your surrender, 
super soul will reveal, Krishna will reveal. How he is dear to Krishna, Kintu, Prabhujya, that here is Guru. You cannot judge Guru, spiritual master, pure devotee by other things. Kintu, Prabhujya, Priyabhati, biggest task, is very dear to Krishna. And who is dear to Krishna? We are very dear to Maya. You know, how can we understand that he is very dear to Krishna? Surrender. When we surrender, the revelation will come. By Guru's blessings, you can feel, oh, he is very dear to Krishna. No one can realize a pure devotee. Unless you become pure, you can become a pure devotee. Realize a pure devotee. And how can you become pure? By the blessing of a pure devotee. How much you are a surrender, that much purity come to you. Our purity means surrender at lotus feet of Guru and Goranga. According to our surrender, they are giving us purity, realization, protection. Yeah. Therefore, Brahma is completely surrendered. Prabhupada said very important things. Uh, tomorrow maybe we will discuss about mercy. Today, here is a, this must this must also be clearly understood. One thing, however, certain Prabhupada said. This is a very certain. And also in verse you can see. Ajasujati bhutani bhutatma jad anugrahat anugrahat. Parikita Maharaj was realizing these things. Oh, this is mercy. How Brahma just created everything. Yeah. And certain Brahma was completely dependent on the mercy of the Lord. Completely dependent on mercy of the Lord. First one, complete surrender. Then you can complete dependent mercy. Unless you surrender, you cannot depend. If you are 10% surrender, then 10% percent is, you can realize 10%, Krishna's 10, mercy, 10%. Okay, this mercy, mercy. And surrender dependent simplicity. You understand? If you are more, why child is small child, is small kids? They are surrendered to their mother. No anxiety. No, no anxiety. They have no anxiety. No problem, material problem. Even if problem is coming, mother will solve. So why we are facing these problems? We are not surrender. We, have, we don't have simplicity. And more we cultivate this mood of simplicity, more we depend on Krishna. Then more realization will come, mercy will come. Then spiritual rival, the spiritual life actually revealed at that time. Yes. So many things are there. Uh, this uh, in in our spiritual life especially this this creating problem. The independent mentality. This independent mentality. Always we have an independent mentality. We want to maintain it. I like everyone, I like these things. Liking, disliking, you cannot say. You are coming to spiritual life. In your office, you can say, I like. In office, you are saying, Sir, today I don't like these things. <laughs> no, you can't say. Even if you don't like, you have to do. Is there any option? In your job, is there any option? No. When when officer asks some for option, you can give, Sir, I want these things. Then he will consider. You don't have any independent. You are not using, no one using his independent in any institution. But when he come to spiritual institution, immediately, immediate from, independent became prominent. Even Mayavadis, everywhere, they declare we are God. When you come to, this is Maya's trick. This is Maya's trick. Maya said, okay, now he's he just give up my camp. He is now in a spiritual camp. But how can I give up my old friend? I have to, I have to, I have to make some friendship with him. This is my friendship with Maya. A devotee is making friendship with Maya through this individual mentality, independence mentality. This mentality is 
is coming. Oh, I like these things. No. Every moment we have to think, what Guru likes? What Guru Goranga likes? What Krishna likes? By this way, we'll give up this independence. I like this thing, I like these things. No. Liking, disliking. We can't choose this here. Because we came, as we beginning we said, we came to such a path. This is path of surrender. This is not path of knowledge. This is not path of detachment. This is not path of karma, jnana, yoga. No. This path of surrender. And especially we are Gaudiyas. We are Garanga. Therefore, you see Mahaprabhu. Krishna is playing food, flute. This is Mahaprabhu. Is surrender. Yes. And why gopis, Radharanis? They are so dear to Krishna. Why? Surrender. Truti Jugayate Twam Apasyatam. Hmm? Anni Kananam. Atati Jadavavan Anni Kananam. Truti Jugayate Twam Apasyatam. This, this verse, Mahaprabhu. Uh, Jugayatam. So they want Krishna always. Always want to see Krishna. Why? They are completely surrendered. No independent. That is Krishna accept you one. As his own. Full blossoming Krishna consciousness steps. Prem will reveal. Yeah. You have to go far. <laughs> yeah. But this is the subtest way, shortcut way. Develop their simplicity. Unflinching faith towards sadhu, guru, vaishnav and shastra. Just pray. Accept him as everything. Maintainer, protector, everything. Then surrender. Develop surrender mood. Praying mood. Then they will arrange everything. We cannot arrange. Material you can arrange everything in, in your material life. But spiritually we cannot arrange anything. Be convinced. If you are not convinced, then you try. Then you try, lastly you will cry. <laughs> yes, you may try. Yeah. We are totally this thing. We, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Yes, spiritual life in it. Without your help, without your mercy, our Gurudev used to say, without your mercy, I cannot develop one inch even in my spiritual life. If you are convinced with these things, then there is hope. Otherwise, hopeless case. Hopeless case. You will run, you will run, you will run, then you will cry. You will try, you will try, then you say, oh. I used to say these things. When you fail to realize these things, then three things. You will convince in your mind about three things. This, this is impossible. You understand? Because you will try. You cannot get all these things because you are not coming in this path. You, are not, you don't want to surrender. You don't want to develop your simplicity. You don't want to depend on Guru and Krishna. Then you will try, you will try. Lastly, you will take these three steps. First, this is impossible. This is not possible for me. Give up. Or secondly, you will, th you will think, this is not practical. <laughs> this is not practical. It is maybe for other yugas or for other person, this is not for me. Or you will give up. Three things. You will give up Krishna consciousness. Or you will, always you will think in your mind. You are chanting, you will serving. Not practical. This is not practical. This is not for me. In this way, you are like, like spiritually paralyzed person. Now our condition, if you forget this one, this missing link, not surrendered to Guru and Krishna, not developing simplicity, not depending on them, then slowly, slowly we become spiritual paralyzed person. Like material paralyzed persons, they cannot walk, they are always dependent on others. Now we will become spiritually paralyzed persons. That Prabhupada here said, complete depend on the mercy. I don't know, Krishna, what is good, what is bad. But I am totally dependent on you. 
we have to pray to guru and we have to pray to goranga we have to pray to krishna without you i am hopeless homeless everything less powerless everything less and that is our mood we have to abide this mood we have to pray whole life so man man say so man may say when where is happiness then always feeling helpless hopeless <laughs> where is happiness and that is happiness that is real happiness in spiritual life when you depend on guru and krishna you have no anxiety you can inside you feel protected yes okay now this is time 11 if some questions we'll take some question and answer yes okay prabhu ji ko de dijiye ओके 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 चलो करो इसको ऑन करो हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा महाराज जी थैंक यू फॉर द वंडर ऑफ क्लास हां इट इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके यू कैन से हरे कृष्णा हां दिस वन क्वेश्चन है महाराज जी द बिगिनिंग यू आर टेलिंग अबाउट द आउट ऑफ फ्रॉम द 64 थिंग्स Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the five things, and uh, very nicely explained about the sattvas association. Mm. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that the Nam Kirtan is uh, the greatest thing for us. But how, of course, that thing is included in the sattvas association. So how do you understand this? Nam Kirtan. Without sattva, you cannot perform Nam Sankirtan. Without service, even. If someone says, "Okay, I will go to Vrindavan, or I will go to here, I will chant day and night, I will not, I will not waste my time." without help of a sadhu inside we have so many anarthas so many anarthas yes we may chant many rounds but we we can't our mind never fix at lotus feet of krishna bhakti siddhan sasu thakur prabhu said without serving in spiritual master's house guru griha your so called chanting is only namabhas may be at best namabhas without without sadhu sangha you cannot chant sadhu sangha krishna na bhakti vinod thakur said in harnam chintamani a sadhu sangha naam nahi hai namakshar hai bate naam nahi hai if you don't associate with sadhu only namakshar sare krishna hare krishna but mind is going somewhere a desire is there you cannot develop attachment towards krishna we have to associate with sadhu and for that sadhu sangha yo then someone may question where where i could get association sadhu sang there is also answer yes then you have to pray to krishna here is krishna what you have to pray to krishna directly you cannot say to krishna give me bhakti you have to pray to krishna give me ah this thing only this is your prayer for whole life only you can pray to krishna this thing you cannot say to krishna make me go please i am no oh, no no you can krishna said okay if you want to go please stay in the temple don't go to prasadam mahal <laughs> chant 24 hour <laughs> chant 24 hour we can't approach krishna a conditioned soul don't have rights to approach krishna the conditioned soul yeah this is gaudiya philosophy i am not speaking from my side we don't want to hear what other saintly persons are we are following our acharya systems they all are associates of krishna gorangara sangi gana nitya siddha kari mane the nitya siddhas we don't want what others are saying we don't want to hear even no i am not ready to hear you may hear they said these things yes without serving you a, a conditioned soul don't have a right to approach krishna you have to approach if you are devotee you only one condition you have to approach krishna give me association of if you are devotee that is bhagavad siddhanta in front of krishna what dhruva mara said in front of in front of nursing the what prahlad mara said no i don't want i don't want to go to vaikund i want to serve narad muni 
Uh, what is that word? Uh, hmm? hmm. Vishuddha, no, Dhruv Maharaj said, in front of... Uh, hmm? uh, association. Uh, no, 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 Dhruv Maharaj. Okay, I'm just missing this verse. <coughs> Yeah, uh, in all these two these prayers, you can find this one. Only a condition soon will approach Krishna. Please give me association of a pure devotee. He will purify me, then he will accept. Otherwise, you will not accept. I know you are purest of the pure. And I am impure. Impure of, huh? Impurest of the impure. <laughs> You can't accept me. So give me association. Bhakti mohu pravata to ime prasanga bhuya tananta mahatam mamala sayanam. Give me association. If saintly persons who don't have other desire, I want to hear Krishna katha, please give me association. In front of Vishnu Dhrumaras, he never said, I, wa I want to stay with you. No. That was Shadu Sangha. Even for Shadu Sangha, you have to pray to Krishna. Only these things. Then Krishna will arrange. Okay? Okay. Forget. Why you add these things here? Tarmadhyam. You cannot chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> Therefore, Gaudiya Vasya is required. Why central person is required? From Shastra, Shastra is like ocean. This Jew beach. This beach. Chopati beach, you go there, you cannot drink one drop of, if you are thirsty, you are feeling thirsty, you can drink water, sea, sea water, even you are nearby the sea beach, you cannot drink water, Shastra is like that. You cannot solve any problems, only, only, oh this is there, this is there, I will try, I will try, I will, some, sometimes serving, sometimes uh, chanting, sometimes remembering, sometimes Bhagavatam, then lastly you said, oh, nothing is working. No. Therefore, sadhu is required. Why sadhu is required? Sadhu is required for this. Krishna is there, deity is there, Shastra is there. But why sadhu is there? Sadhu's incarnation is there. Krishna was in Bharat, India. Deity was not there. In Mumbai, there are not so many deities. Brahmins are not worshipping before. They are not reading Bhagavad Gita. They are not reading Bhagavatam. But why not? People are become devotees. Even those who are reading Bhagavatam, they are also smoking. But when you see, when Prabhupada came, Krishna was there, Krishna's incarnation was there, but devotee's incarnation is required. When devotee incarnate, then Krishna's, everything will reveal, Shastra will reveal, Deity will reveal, Krishna will reveal, Dham will reveal. Who knows Vrindavan before? Only old man, the old man and old man, for their pious activities, to accumulate passive activities, they used to go to Vrindavan. Who knows Vrindavan before? Who knows Mayapur before? Even Dham will reveal everything. Sadhu. That Sadhu. Without Sadhu's mercy, we are serving Sadhu. So by blessings, we can chant. Tomorrow you can hear why this blessing is required. For chanting, for hearing, for serving, for spiritual life, blessing is absolutely required. Without blessings, one inch we cannot advance. Yes, therefore sadhu is required always. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Seva. Nam Sankirtan. Third, third thing is Nam Sankirtan. Bhakti Muna Thakur said, what is spiritual life? What is Bhakti? First, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Seva, Nam Sankirtan. Sarva Jiva Dayai Bhakti Achara. Four things. In spiritual life, four things is essence. First one, Sadhu Sangha. Then, Seva. Everyone is coming to temple, taking prasadam and going, you know? You have to serve here. This is Guru Griha. You have to clean the plate. You have to cutting the vegetable. You are Krishna servant. You, are, you have to serve here. Unless you serve in temple, you cannot advance. This is Guru Griha. Sadhu Sangha, then Sadhu Seva. Then third Nama Sankirtan. Then Nama Sankirtan. And fourth one, Jiva Daya. With combination of these things, then you will not commit any offense towards any living entities. This is pure bhakti. Bhakti acharan. Bhakti not have to share everything. Okay? 
Hare Krishna Maharaj. So uh, in the class you were mentioning about complete surrender towards Krishna as well as simplicity. So many times, it's my personal question Maharaj, uh, we are hearing from last many years about surrendering completely. So always in our life Maharaj, there are so many things keeping us back from completely surrender to Krishna as well as so many things keep it, keeping us back from becoming simple in front of Guru. So, how to overcome this tendency? We cannot compromise with that, that thing. So many things, we have this, you know, father, I have, I have father, father have some problem, monetary some problem, I have business in my problem, health problem. Problem will be there. But any, at any moment, I will not compromise with these things. I have to surrender. Okay, suppose according to your uh, problems, you may consider, okay, I have this problem, I want to surrender, but these, these problems are coming. Okay. Find out the way, how to solve all these problems. Is there any? In materially, without surrender, when materially you are trying to solve your problems, you are creating another problems. Looks like I am solving some problems. You know, that is, and that is, in Srimad Bhagatam, that is mentioned, like when there is heavy burden in your head, you are bringing to shoulder. But same weight you are carrying, but when you are from head to shoulder you are carrying, relax. Oh, ah. Solving material problems means like that. So any, this, the, any moment we should not accept these things. Okay, I have father, I have problem, mother, I have problem, this problem, that problem. Whatever a problem it may be, I have to surrender at Lotus Feet. Guru and Krishna. I cannot compromise with these things. Otherwise, where is the way? There is no other way. Maya se kariya jaya chada nana jaya sadhu guru kripa bina nahinka upaya. There is no other way without mercy of spiritual master, central persons. Maya will not give up. So why not? This is the direct, you know, this is a direct procedure, direct way. And this is indirect. And again you will fed up, again you will come here. Even karmi people you see, why so many temples are there? You go to every colony, they have some temples. They are facing problems and coming, worshipping this demigod, this one, please solve my problems, please solve my problems. Everyone is praying, surrender. Without, So we cannot compromise. After many lives, we come to Krishna consciousness. Many lives we have father, we have business, we have wife, we have business, everything we have. This life only Guru and Krishna. I cannot give up this path at any moment. We have to try. We have to pray. Yeah. Parallelly three things, you know. We have to pray. And we have to try. And we have to cry. Three things. Problem, we have some problem. I used to say these things. This is my favorite things. Sometimes we are praying, not trying, not crying. Sometimes we are trying, not praying, not crying. Sometimes we are crying, not trying. You find out the ways, <laughs> three things. No, three things parallelly. We have to try. You, pray, pray. you, want, to, you, want, you, you want to know these things? Bring a small child, I can show you. If you have a chocolate, you know, you have toffee, then you just pull from his hand. He will, he will try, not cry fast. He will try to pull on from your hand. He will try. Then he will try. When he fell, then cry. Then he, when he will fall, then he will give me. <laughs> you see, from, try from a child. Yeah. This is simplicity. This is simplicity. When you develop simplicity, you will try. If you fail, then you will cry. When you fail and cry, then you will pray. Always with, within these three how can you say, steps, you have to mold your spiritual life. Yeah. Okay. Prabhuji was saying something very seriously. <laughs> okay. Now this is time. This is for the initiated uh, devotees. 
लाइक वी मैं समझ ले गुरु हस्तास एंड वी टेक वाउस बिफोर फायर गुरु एंड कृष्णा दैट वी विल फॉलो ऑल द फोर इविटे प्रिंसिपल्स नो इलिसिट सेक्स नो गैमलिंग नो मिटेड थिंग नो नो इंटरसेक्शन बट इन द लॉन्ग रन ऑफ़ आर लाइफ समटाइम्स वी कॉम्प्रोमाइज़ बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ कंडीशनिंग माया देन व्हाट हैपेंस विल गुरु एंड कृष्णा लेट फर्गिव अस एंड विल वी सी गोलक ब्रंदा वन आफ्टर कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन दिस लाइक लाइक समटाइम्स हाउ सीरियस हुई यार प्रॉब्लम इज़ हाउ सीरियस हुई यार समटाइम्स ड्यू टू बेड हैबिट्स यू नो व्हेन वेर फ्रोमेजिंग दिस थिंग्स व्हेन वेर फ्रोमेजिंग दिस थिंग्स इनिशिएशन मींस वेर टेकिंग प्रोमिस in front of fire from from front of sadgo samis 12 mahajanas gopis everyone you see in jagyans how many mantras are there in front of guru in front of krishna i promise to don propad used to say don't try to break your promise you know and among the promises one thing is very important chanting section round with attentive chanting that will protect other things Even these regulative principles, some someone why is breaking the regulative principles? This Raja Guna, this mood of passion became prominent, not in mood of goodness. Therefore, Mangalarati, we have to wake up in Mangalarati, maintaining goodness, maintaining always in goodness status, and always chanting nicely, focusedly. Very nicely, if you chant, then spiritual guru and goranga will give you pure intelligence, not to break all these rules and regulations. If someone, unfortunately, due to his bad habits, he just break these promises, but he, how much seriously he is realizing, he is praying, and taking the vow not to commit mistake again. That Krishna knows, Guru knows. But important is chanting, especially coming to temple like Mangalarati. Here, five is five Mangalarati. This is good. Everyone can come. Those are staying nearby. Everyone. Try to come to temple always. Chant with, with the devotees. This is different, you know, different test. That is here. How many devotees? Pure devotees place, propas place. Maharaj used to come here. Elevated Vaishnavas blessings is here. Sthanam pradhanam, nanto balap pradhanam. Strength is not from in. How can you say prime? स्थानम प्रधान गजेन्द्र वेर गजेन्द्र वाज गजेन्द्र वाज विद इन दि वाटर ऑल दो इज वेरी पावरफुल बट विद इन दि वाटर बट क्रकोडाइल इज लेस पावरफुल बट इन इज ओन नेचुरल प्लेस स्थान प्रधान देर फॉर आफ्टर हार्ड लेबर विथ सो मेनी चैलेंजेस वाय डिवोट इज आर मेन्टेनिंग दिस टेम्पल दिस प्लेस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट स्थान प्रधान न तो बल प्रधान Our strength is very less. When you come to the flesh, you can get strength. So always come to temple. Always chant with the devotees. Always serve. Chanting is very important, especially. Don't neglect chantings, and especially attentive chantings. Okay. Now this is time. Hare Krishna. Sri Prabhupad ki jai. श्री श्री राधा गोपीनाथ गौर नित्यानंद प्रभु की जय संवेद भक्त वृंद की जय निताय गौर प्रमानंदे हरे हरे